Hello, and welcome to the show. Now, not so long ago, the Subaru Impreza 22B went down the rally course, and it only seems fair to give its main rival a shot as well, the Mitsubishi Evo 6. And, well, the 22B was very quick, so potentially we could see another very, very fast car down this rally stage. I would like to think so. I love the Evo 6. It is my favourite of the Evos, and I would like to see the car do well. We're going to start off by putting the vehicle on the rally tyres, and that is almost going to put us up to the top of A-Class. Now, we are probably not going to need to change the engine. I'm just curious as to what engines we could get. Turbo Rally or 6.2 litre V8. Uh, we are, provided the car can reach the top of S1 class with the standard engine, we will, of course, have to keep it. What we are going to want is the Forza Aero parts on the front. Unlike the Lancia, I think we can still get rally lights. There's a lot of rear wing options here. I was not quite, ah, I've got to, wow, that is a table and a half going on at the back there. That's impressive. Uh, that's also not bad. But uh, we've got to go, the Forza one looks quite tame compared to those. Well, I guess they're not too much taller. They just look a little bit crazier. Yeah, we, we've got to go for the Forza one. Downforce. We want the handling on the car. I'm guessing it's going to give us some mud flaps. Indeed it is. Oh, this time they actually are adding weight and, and so on. And we are, of course, wanting as many lights as we can possibly put on the car. Uh, there's just sort of different slight variations on the bonnets. These are the super special extra lightweight lights on the car. There we go. That will be at least the look of the Evo done. Now, handling parts, of course, we want full-on brakes. We want off-road suspension. And we're going to want these... Oopsie, I didn't quite press the uh, right button there quick enough to uh, scroll through. We're going to want all of these. Weight reduction is the one that's perhaps a little bit of a bigger part to play. <sighs> you see, we could go for the full weight reduction. That bring it down roughly in line with the 22B, I, th I think. But I'm not sure we're going to get the power out of the car. So what I'm thinking we do one stage, brings it down to about 2,700 pounds, which isn't too bad. And then we focus on engine. And then we give it as much in the way of engine parts as we possibly can to try and get the power up. With, yeah, power being all important. I'm not sure, though, if this is even that is going to be enough to really give this car... I don't know, it might be enough, actually. Are we actually going to get enough power out of this engine? With, uh... Oh, yeah, okay, I think we're just about to get the PI, because we haven't got the turbo yet. And the turbo, we always know, is a big, a big part, a big boost in terms of PI. <sighs> I mean, we are almost at the top of S1 class now. I guess, yeah, I guess kind of, you know, these bits here are, you know, they're adding some power, but they're also adding a little bit of weight. We've kind of got to that little bit of an awkward stage with this car, I think, where it is almost at the top of the class, but I don't think we're going to be able to... Ah, okay, so the standard gearbox is pretty awful on here. Right, that's going to save us some weight, as we'll that. Oh, we're going to be like 2 PI short. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. I want to keep the car's standard engine, really, but... Oh, that's a bugger, isn't it? Because I don't think I've got anything else I can do, and of course that's going to jump us up PI-wise. Oh, that doesn't... Actually, okay. Okay. That's not adding up as much PI as I was expecting. It's only 10. What we might do then is add that on, and then we just take off a couple of these parts... Uh, we can get ourselves... Oh, are we going to be able to... Right, because the trick here is... Oh, no, I'm okay with that, actually. I'm okay with that. Because uh, we won't take off from those bits, though. What we'll do is if we just jump this back down just a little bit, just a tad, just a smidge. You see, we're back at 561 horsepower. That's roughly equivalent to that of the Subaru. Uh, Torque-wise, we're not too bad either. Weight-wise, we're down around the same way. I think the Subaru may be a little teensy bit... Uh, lighter and a teensy bit more power, possibly. But overall, these are pretty, pretty similar in terms of the in terms of the build. I don't actually remember paying any attention to the tire size on the Subaru. Two seven fives. I'm assuming seven fives all round. Indeed, they are on the Evo six. Well, yeah. I mean, that is that is pretty pretty good performance from it. We could see. Quite a, quite a close, as you would expect, really, between these two times, down the rally stage. 
So it is off to the Reservoir Trail with our Evo. It's going to get three runs through the stage in an attempt to go faster. Well, the 22B is our main rival here. A 233.2, the time set by the Subaru, the fastest ever down here. The Ram around 229.8 is an incredibly quick time that I, I doubt the Evo is going to be quite challenging that. It's all going to be about this versus the Impreza, I suspect. Can we get a little bit bogged down on the launch not uh, not ideal how are we doing speed into the puddle yeah it's not quite up there with the crazy rs2 but it's also pretty good going and we are flat out easily around turn one and then on the brakes for a tricky turn wow that's again <laughs> that's even nicer than the lancia through that second corner i think you can get away with a lot of speed in this car now how do we do all oh, the brakes are really good as well. Yeah. <laughs> I am liking the Evo 6 already. I, I already know two places I can go quicker uh, on the next run through here because you can be really super late on the brakes, I think, at the end of the tarmac section and we can be a bit more aggressive into turn two. Now, how do we manage the bumps here? As you would expect in the Evo, very nice indeed. Now, we want to try and Keep up our momentum all the way through here. Now, we can't be doing with any oversteer. Carry that speed, and we are carrying very, very good speed through that section. It's so easy to position this car. We are going to land a little bit wonky on that jump. But that's okay. We can get away. Tree's destructible, and we can bring the car back in line. Small bit of oversteer on the way up the hill. Not unusual. We have seen it from many a car. Into the water we go. Again, not massively comfortable with the puddle there which is a tad surprising but there we go these things do uh, do happen now as we run up the uh, hill uh, clear the landing nicely you get quite much airtime there as i was expecting oh, it turns in so nicely this car it's incredible how well the front end of this car is getting around this course and up towards the water we go hold it out nice and wide because you don't like it that might be a little bit uh, there's a bit too much sliding through there we've got to aim it better than uh, than we did there aim it like we did the lancia and i think we will be good as we now run down the back straight how do we do across the bumps are we going to be easily flat out down here i don't know i don't think anything can easily be flat out down here because they are huge bumps but it is pretty good going from this car yeah, it's nice across these jumps, and then we break into the penultimate corner again, carrying plenty of that speed into the final turn. We go, try not to overdrive the corner too much, but get a good line. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, this and the Impreza are going to be close. A 33.6 on my opening run, four tenths down. I definitely think there are a couple of places I can go quicker. Yeah. I'm liking this Evo 6. This is a lovely car to drive. So it is on to our second run. Four tenths of a second is what we are looking for in this car. Can I make it up at the start of the run even? As I said, I feel like I was perhaps even a little bit cowardly on the brakes into turn two. I really think we can get away with chucking this car with a lot of speed through these opening sections. But this part here is tough. If you get that, that, was, that is so good. Okay, <laughs> that corner is normally horrible for cars turning in with a fraction too much speed and getting a mile of understeer, but that is just like nothing else through there. That is incredible <laughs> from the Evo. It's just so much speed to be taken. The front end is so happy to get into these corners. Oh, I am liking this car. This might be my new favourite of the rally cars. We ran a little bit wide out of that section. Thankfully, we can get away with it as uh, we can cut through the tree. And it's so nice on that landing. And the Lancia was good. Lancia was really good last time around. But this is better. This is just better through there. Now, this bit here, we can get into trouble. And we have done... Oh, this time I was... I think I changed up a little bit too soon. And then we clicked the water and had to back out of it. So this... The opening part was very, very good. The uh, very, very quick section, not so much. Oh, and that's all out. That's all out of position. I was trying to carry too much speed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not quite going to have the consistency because I've tried and threw the car around a little bit too much there. Really not liking the water though, so that's just something we've got to watch out 
for, uh, but especially later on. Water's not too bad on this on this stage. There are a few that are a lot worse in terms of, I say a lot worse, we have just got a lot more water to deal with. This, again, that's another part of the reason why I picked this course uh, over various other stages you could do on this game, is that while water is a feature here, it's not constant. You're not constantly having to worry about getting through the water. I mean, yes, this is a very... Uh, a very large stretch of water, but uh, on the whole, it's not too bad. That might actually work quite well with the uh, with the Evo. Just trying to keep the speed up on the way in to that uh, giant puddle, and then make sure we uh, avoid this one, or if we do clip it, only the faintest amount, so we don't lose speed. Uh, now down this section here is again another place where I think the Evo really soars, really does make up its time nicely across these jumps. It's so composed, it's so nice to have cars, after having so many difficulties across there, it is so nice to have a car that is lovely and composed down that section. Again, you know, the Lancia last time was pretty good, this is just better, up towards the line, yeah, 35.3. Big, big mistake in... Uh, a couple of places, in fact. So, definitely, I, I would definitely say more than two seconds worth of time lost there with a huge slide and uh, running very wide out of a chicane. So, yeah, the final, the final run is going to be an interesting one. Well, we saw the RS2 Avance do or die run when it was chasing the Ram Runner. Now it is time for the Evo 6s. It's hunting a slightly different car, and it may be a little bit further down the table, unless a miracle happens on this run. But it is trying to beat that age-old rival, and if we if we hook everything together, I think it might be doable in this car. <laughs> it's so nice through turn two. It's definitely the most grip, I think, we have had certainly the most comfortable I have been in really pushing a car through that corner. I haven't thought that this is going to understeer wide uh, in the same way that just about everything else has felt like it will do at that turn. Now, we've got to keep up our corner speed here. That's one of the, the main characteristics of this track. You've got to maintain your momentum. And while, you know, the Impreza was very, very good through the corners, the Evo is incredible across those bumps as well. The, uh, the Impreza was really good around these corners. It did have the faintest bit of oversteer from time to time, and that is something that you've really got to control. I mean, lots of cars have. You're on dirt with 500 horsepower cars at 120 plus miles an hour. You've got to make sure that the back end isn't letting go. It's nicely across that big jump. In fact, we're really set up nice for this chicane, throw the Evo through and the grip out the other side. Even the Lancia was sliding through there. The Evo 6 is planted as we jump our way into the water. Uh, get the car slowed for this little bit tighter course, uh, corner, sorry, on the course as we run up towards the next of the big jumps. We've had no issues on these landings at all throughout the uh, course of these cars run. It's done a remarkable job of cushioning the bumps and you know with the exception of possibly the ram runner i would say this is the best we have had in terms of in terms of stability across the across the bumps now we're going to run in very very wide there get the car out the other side i think we ever so slightly kissed the barrier trying to keep the car out of the water perhaps a little bit less than ideal but there we go keeping it close to the water but not actually dipping a wheel in down there as we now fire it down the bumpy back straight. We need all of the... <laughs> it's just so composed there. Nothing else. I mean, that wasn't perfectly straight. Everything else, if I'd had to do that little bit of correction, we would have been off into the tree line. But with the Evo 6, it is absolutely fine. As we now round the final turn, the run towards the line, it's going to go quick. It's going to go incredibly fast. 232.2. <laughs> from the Evo. Oh, that is a quick time. It beats the Impreza. In fact, it is uh, near enough exactly a second faster than the Impreza 22B. But I don't think that's the most impressive thing about that time. Because the Evo 6 not only beats the Impreza, it beats the Hemi Cuda. It beats the Tesla Model S. It goes into fifth place. That is a very quick time down this course. It is not as far off the Ram Runner and the Audi as I was expecting. This is by far, by 
far and away the fastest we have seen from a car that hasn't been putting out ludicrous levels of power. In fact, this car doesn't even have a huge amount of torque down this stage. The Hemi Cuda was running nearly 900 horsepower. The Tesla was running 700 horsepower, 900 torque. And the Evo 6 is faster than both of them, and that is because the Evo 6 is the nicest handling car I have driven here. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind this is the nicest handling car. It is the most composed through the high-speed stuff, and by far and away the best on the bumps. With the possible exception of the Ram Runner, this is the best, best car across the bumps. It is incredible around this track that it can maintain its speed and maintain its composure over bumps that have flummoxed just about everything, and the Evo 6, you will be carrying way more speed. At the end of the day, it doesn't quite have the acceleration to match the RS2. The sheer power of the RS2 and the Ram Runner were too much for the Evo 6. However, god damn is it a good car. And that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.